There are three general levels of measurement. As we go through these, consider how you might describe yourself according to these types. Nominal data classifies in groups. There is no inherent ranking to nominal data. In other words, one cannot say that one response is lower or higher than another. Some examples would be sex, male versus female, or insurance status, as public, private, or non-insured. So, if I were to describe myself using nominal measures, I would say that I am white, female, Michigan resident, an epidemiologist, a mother, etc. Ordinal data is collected in a way that has an inherent rank or order, like level of education or health status. The differences between the levels is not important, however. For example, education level is ordinal data, since there is a ranked order to grades completed. Also, health status as poor, fair, good, or excellent is indicative of a ranked order to those assessments. So, if I were to describe myself using ordinal measures, I would say I am in excellent health, I have completed graduate education, that I have watched a lot of television, etc. Interval or ratio data. Interval or ratio data is ordered data with a constant scale. It indicates a numeric response with equal difference between points. Continuous data would fall into this category. Interval data has no natural zero. However, ratio data does have a natural zero. So, if I were to describe myself using interval measures, I would say I am 5 foot 5 inches tall, I have two children, etc. Let's talk a bit more about a natural zero to understand the difference between interval and ratio data. A natural zero is a true zero measurement value. Height, for instance, has a natural zero. Zero meters has a value. It is the absence of height. In contrast, year or temperature do not have a natural zero. The freezing point of water was chosen as zero degrees and could just as easily be assigned to the boiling point of water. This table shows three approaches to collecting weight data according to the levels of measurement. From a nominal data approach, weight data can be classified as overweight, underweight, or about right. This data is not characterized in a way that is an inherent ranking. An ordinal data approach to this data would be classified as only a little overweight, somewhat overweight, or very overweight, where the data indicates a ranked order to weight categories. These categories, though, do not follow a constant scale. The difference between them does not have meaning. Finally, a ratio data approach, where weight is measured as a person's BMI. BMI is an ordered variable with constant scale and has a natural zero.